this is Jennifer from the Morris Clan. Um, thought I would film my labor and delivery story. Uh, sorry we did not get any footage. It was very unexpected. So I'm just gonna tell you guys. So we are home currently. Um, just for the day, you know, to you know, uh, see our other see our other kids and uh, clean up house because like I said we kind of had to leave you know all of a sudden so it was kind of left in a mess um but anyway sorry about that my dad called uh okay so our house was left in a mess um Thursday October 10th um we went in for our stress test at 10 um they also did my last uh, OB check um, before my induction on October 14th. So uh, my blood pressure was good. And you're gonna hear my husband moaning. Sorry about that. That was one of the other things <laughs> we're doing while we're up here. Um, so she checked me, my blood pressure was good. Um, I hadn't gained any weight, so I stayed at 298, which a lot, I know guys, but um, but yeah, so I was 298, blood pressure was good, um, my group B strep vein um, for the antibiotic came back negative, and um, I was having contractions, but they weren't, you know, timeable, they weren't lasting long enough, they really didn't hurt, and I've been having those since Monday, so I really didn't think much of it, and she checked me, I was only a half centimeter. So I was like, okay, well, at least I progressed a half centimeter at 39 weeks as I'm going into week 40. Um, so that was it. I did my stress test. Um, I had a few contractions on there that the nurse noticed. It was like, do you feel those? And I was like, yeah, but they're not painful. And they weren't, again, they still weren't like timeable. So um, we got done with that about 11.30, I wanna say. And, uh, um, we got home and I just kind of relaxed. My husband made lunch. All right. Sorry about that, guys. This video is going to be kind of choppy because I keep having people call me. Um, anyway, so my husband was making lunch. I sat in our little, like, love seat chair that I love to sit in and, um, I, I was starting to really feel them. They still weren't like like painful, painful, but they were more um, noticeable, I guess. Um, so I started to, I got to my contraction app and started timing them. And I timed them from about 11.45 until, I wanna say we left here about 2.30. So during, you know, that, three hour window um they range anywhere between two minutes to you know five minutes then two minutes to eight minutes um but they were lasting well over a minute and with me delivering so far away i was kind of concerned about it um so i called my ob which is my local ob and she recommended that we come back in and see if i changed anything so um, at, we got there around three after my dad picked up the boys and um, we got there and um, I was definitely still contracting and she checked me. I had not changed. I had stayed at a half centimeter. So she told us that she recommended that we go down um, to Indianap Indianapolis where we were supposed to deliver and um, see if maybe my labor will progress on its own. Maybe they'll just keep me um, since I was supposed to be induced on Monday anyway. So we came home, grabbed our bags, grabbed her bag, and uh, we grabbed our boys' bags. Um, and we dropped those off with my dad and we hung out with my dad for about an hour. And the boys, you know, um, still having contractions, but you know, I didn't want to get down there and not have anything change. So uh, I labored at home for a little while. You know, we were here for about 45 minutes and we drove to my dad's, hung out with him for about an hour or so. And then we went down to Indy. 
We got to Indy about 6.30, so we parked, went into the hospital, and um, it took him a little while to like get us checked in. Um, but it's no biggie. I was in no hurry. I mean, it hurt, but I wasn't like in pain, pain. Um, so they took us back to a triage room. I had to change um, the tiniest room ever, guys. <laughs> but um, we made it work. Um, it took about the doctor about a half hour. Uh, so she came in about 7.20, 7.30, something like that. After we had went back into the triage room. And um, she definitely said I was in, you know, she was pretty sure I was in labor because my contractions were regular. I was um, even off the charts. Like my contractions were like so high and then they flatline and then come back down. Um, and she said I was tolerating it pretty well. So they were pretty happy about that. Um, she's like, well, um, if you've changed, we'll admit you. And I said, okay. And she said, I see that you are a half centimeter with your other OB. I said, yes. And so she was like, okay, well, let's check in. She checked me and I was three centimeters. So they admitted me and got us a room. It took about, we didn't get to the room until probably 8.30. Um, just because they were pretty full. There was a lot of women that had went into labor on their own. So um, we got in there about 8.30. Um, they were really starting to like get to me and I wanted to try to rest um, so I wouldn't be tired when it came to pushing. So um, they gave me Nubane, which uh, I survived off of Nubane from 8.30 until 1.00. And um, she could see that my contractions were really coming. And then they started Pitocin at 12, which really bumped up my contractions. Um, and they only did that because, again, I had not dilated. I stayed at three centimeters. So they started Pitocin. I had the epidural put in around one, one in the morning. And while all this is happening, my husband is sleeping on the couch. And he slept all the way until I delivered. <laughs> so, um, I got the epidural at one. They came in at four. Um, because when you get the epidural, ladies, you can't, you know, get up, go to the bathroom or anything. So, they had a catheter, you know, come in and do the whole catheter thing and empty my bladder at 4 a.m. And, um, she, I wanted to be pulled up in bed because I felt like I, like, fell down and I wanted to kind of sit up so they both um one nurse on each side you know grabbed the pad that you like lay on and pulled me up and when they did that my water broke um uh, so I broke at four uh she decided to check me um right before the water before the water had broken or anything and um I was a five centimeters um she so my water broke and all that at four and they were having me turn side to side um, to try to bring her down because she did not want to come down. Uh, I was still like a negative two or something like that because she just was not dropping down at all with these contractions. Um, so around 6 a.m. they checked me again. I was still five. They came back in at 8.30. 8.30, I was still five. Uh, and my epidural had a button, which is my first time ever having a button on an epidural because for all three of my boys, I did not have the button thing. <laughs> so um, I actually did not even use it. I used it one time because I felt really, like my belly felt really tight and a lot of pressure. And so I pushed it and waited and I could still feel that. So I let my nurse know that I felt like my body was kind of taking over and was trying to push. And she paged um, the doctor at 845, 15 minutes after she had just left and told her that I had felt like I need to push. And she was like, well, I was just in there. And she's like, well, she feels like she needs to push. So the doctor came back in and I was a full 10. So I went from a five to 10 in 15 minutes. And with us having a hypoplastic blood heart syndrome baby, 
they had to call the delivery team plus the NICU team to come in. So we had about 20 people in this delivery room. Some were for me and some were for her and some were, you know, just for both of us. Uh-uh. Sorry, guys. Um, my two-year-old. Anyway. Um, so, I... Now, by the time everybody was in there, it was about nine-ish, nine-ish. Um, they started setting up the table, they got her ready. Um, they were putting up the things you set your legs and stuff on. They woke my husband up at nine. And about 9.15, um, they had me finally start pushing. And um, she was born. In one contraction, two pushes at 9.18. 9.18 in the morning on October 11th, 2019. And she weighed 8 pounds, 6 ounces, and she was 20 and a half inches long. So, uh, she came out crying and screaming, and they laid her on me for a minute or two to get her cleaned up, and then she was taken away um, to be evaluated. And then... They brought her back about 15 minutes later after she had been born, after they evaluated her and said that she needed to be taken down to NICU. So I got to see her one last time and they took her away. I did not rip, I did not tear. Um, my recovery has been going amazing. Uh, and so, I mean, this is by far my easiest labor and delivery. It was amazing. Um, even the nurse was like, this is like textbook labor and delivery besides her not wanting to come down. And we had to do the whole lay on one side, lay on the other. But besides that, it was perfect. She is perfect. She's beautiful and we love her so much. And um, she is now seven days old, well, eight days, eight days old. Um, and we will be going back down there tonight, but we needed to come home, take a breather, get some stuff done, see our other kids, and everything else. So, I know this labor and delivery story is kind of all over the place, but I didn't take any videos or anything. All I did was take some pictures after she was born, um, and I'll insert those at the end of the video. But I do plan on doing another update, probably in about a week, on her surgery and everything and how that's gone over in her recovery. So be looking, be able to look out for that. Sorry, it's so loud.